Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, social media links, all kinds of information there. So please do go check that out, decks I'm using, be greatly appreciated. And uh, just a quick shout out before we get started here, just uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. All your support really means a lot to me. Um, so we can help and grow uh, this little tiny channel to something big and beautiful for you guys. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. Okay. Capricorn, first half of September already. Wowzers. All right. Where's time going? I don't know. All right. So, love connection. This can be any kind of connection with anybody you have in mind. So, this is a zodiac oracle. We may get a planet, sign, or element, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. And if this part does not um, apply to you, that's totally fine. Something in the title brought you here, so we'll see what resonates for you. All right, so let's get an energy for Capricorn. First half of September in love. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Oh, here we go, Pisces. Some may be dealing with a Pisces, and if you're not, that's totally fine. Capricorn and Pisces. Earth and water. Okay. Or uh, they could have Pisces in their chart somewhere if it's not their sun sign. All right. So with this deck here, let's get an overall love energy for the sign of Capricorn. First half of September. Let's get an overall love energy for Capricorn. A small one. First half of September spirit, please. Thank you. Okay, this is the back. A message for you. I am thinking of you. The, this very moment, your love fills me with light. I love you. Wow. So, wow. So that's the overall message. So for energy for the uh, first half of September. So this is either you telling them this, them telling you this, or it's the mutual energy between the two of you. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. All right, that's nice. Okay, so how are you feeling, Capricorn, about your person and about this connection? Okay, so this is the back, and we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know if you have trust issues or if you think they have trust issues or there's just a lot of trust between you. You're trusting in them. You're trusting in the connection. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Or you just need to trust and give it to the... If you're not in union with this person, um, the divine is telling you just to trust in divine timing. And if it's meant to be, it will be. All right. So let's see how your person is feeling about you and this connection so we have wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course okay so they may not want to rush things um, there's something here where they're either not ready they could be the one having trust issues and you know that or there's something going on with them right now where they just just have to wait before this can happen or maybe just wanting to take it a, take a very slow approach to this I don't know we'll see so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck we have friendship N nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so maybe you know it's just on a friend level right now uh, I call it the friend zone so maybe it's just a friend zone situation right now for some reason and uh, I think the divine is telling you to trust and that if this will happen if it's meant to be it will be I feel like you do trust them you're trusting in the connection 
but for some reason they're saying to you wait it's just not time yet for some reason so that's probably why we got the friend zone right now but I feel like the connection is mutual and if you can't be together right now I think the feeling is mutual that you both do think about each other and there are feelings and emotions there I think you do love each other but for some reason maybe you just can't be together right now I don't know let's see what's going on with you Capricorn Capricorn first half of September let's clarify this love connection what's going on between the two of you and you can flip flop the energies any way you see fit all right so Capricorn why are you in this trust energy and this connection first half of September spirit please can we clarify what Capricorn so it's way too many can we clarify for Capricorn I'm feeling that one all right, so we have the Seven of Swords. So, and this is an inner air energy here. And this is an energy of being kind of deceptive and sneaky um, and untrustworthy, though. But you have trust there. But this card speaks of an untrustworthy behavior. So if you've done something or if you feel like if you feel like they think that they can't trust you, I think you're trying to tell them that, yes, you can. You know, maybe they perceive you as this kind of untrustworthy energy for some reason. Um, this is two conflicting energies. This is having trust, needing trust, and this is being untrustworthy. So why, why is this here? the ace of wands so you know this is a brand new beginning this is very passionate energy um it's a lot of sexual energy so you know maybe maybe they think that you know this could be just be about waiting to be intimate you know maybe they think you just want sex but you are telling them no you can trust me yes there is passion and that desire but that's not all, you know? So maybe they're, you're coming off as one way as um, looking like someone who's untrustworthy because maybe you have a lot of passion for this person. They think maybe that you just want to, you know, have some fun and that's it. Maybe just friends with benefit kind of energy. But uh, I'm getting the feeling though, if you have been intimate with this person, uh, maybe that's what happened. Maybe you kind of haven't had an affair with this person before, you know, the right time. Maybe, you know, if you're getting out of a situation or maybe they are and you like slipped up and had an affair. And even though they may be leaving a situation, that could be this deceptive energy here. But I think you're trying to tell them, yes, you know, I know we need to wait. And they're telling you we need to wait. And I think you know that. But that is a brand new beginning, passionate brand new beginning. So let's see what their energy is. So the five of wands. So this is conflict. This is fire energy. So yeah, there might have been an argument or a conflict about whatever happened between the two of you. Um, if you were, you know, intimate before, you know, maybe they wanted to wait and, you know, it just happened. And now they have a lot of inner conflict about you and this connection. Uh, of what they did, what shouldn't have happened. Because uh, this is a deceit and conflict. But that yet we have trust and wait and a new beginning. So I think <laughs> I think you came together and were intimate before you should have been. And now it's causing a lot of like this deceitful, uh, conf conf conflicting energy between the two of you. But there is love and emotions here. And maybe you started off as friends. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is now between the two of you. So we have the Magician, and wow, and we have the Hierophant, and we have the Fool. Holy crap, Capricorn. Three major arcana here right off the bat. Wow. So the actual situation, this is um, Gemini Virgo, but it doesn't have to be, and that's connecting to you. 
So you want, you know, and they have weight, but you want this to happen like now, like yesterday. You want to be, you want to be with them. You want to manifest this. You want this to come together, you know, and they want it too, because they have the fool energy. So this is about leap, leaping in um, to a whole new beginning, taking a leap of faith. So, you know, resetting, starting over at zero. So I do think here they're going through something here and they need to let it all go and then only take them with them what they need and resetting at zero. I think they're resetting at zero right now. And I think you cross the line of friendship here. You know, I don't want to say by accident, but uh, before you should have. And now it's caused a lot of this... Uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but a lot of conflicting, deceitful energy between the two of you. And maybe in your separate lives also. But, you know, you're telling them, hey, I know... We shouldn't have did this, but you can trust me. And they're saying, well, we still need to wait for this brand new beginning. New beginning, new beginning, manifesting a new beginning. And then the Hierophant is about commitment, Taurus here. So being very committed. So whether you are both are in a committed relationship that you're both leaving, or they could be, or whatever here. But then I also see commitment coming in for the two of you and manifesting this brand new beginning and jumping right in and taking that leap of faith into this brand new beginning. Wow. So let's see what your advice is, Capricorn. So we have the Two of Cups and we have the King of Cups. Wow. So we have, this is all water. So this is their energy. This is their energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. This is coming together in union with your soulmate. So your advice is to wait, wait for them to clear the conflict and obstacles while they reset at zero so they can jump right in with a clean slate and come into union with your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Two of Cups, two people coming together as one, soulmate energy. And this is their energy, the King of Cups. King or Queen, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow. And if they're not in water sign um can be any sign here wow but with the fool here we have aquarius taurus gemini virgo wow so let's see what the possible and you know you love them there are love and emotions here with the king of cups energy and they do love you and they want this union with you so this is coming into union with your soulmate and that's your advice. So let's see what the possible outcome. Seven of Wands. So this is fighting for it. This is uh, fire energy. This is standing up for it. Fighting for it. Not giving up. So the outcome is not giving up and fighting for it and defending it. For this new beginning. Wow. So let's get more clarity here. So we have the hangman. Yep. So Pisces. Pisces energy. So here's their energy. Yep. So on a standstill, on a pause here, being, you know, um, just in a standstill because of the situation. I do feel like they're freeing themselves from something here because they have to reset at zero to start over, start fresh, start new with you. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. So again, this energy of... Um, just getting out of a situation. This is air energy. Just getting out of a situation. You don't care how you do it, when you do it, who you do it to, or who you hurt, who you not hurt. It's just a very, um, I don't want to say selfish, but just worried about you and getting out of something and just, you don't care how you do it. Just getting out of that situation, getting away from it. And that's under their energy with the hangman. So while things are on a pause, on a break here, they're really trying to get out of this situation here with the Five of Swords energy. Doing everything they can to get out of that energy. Temperance. So Sagittarius energy here. So, I mean, this is about balance, time, patience, uh, people coming together and reuniting. Uh, healing energy. So they could be healing over this situation, trying to balance out their energies. Um, but time and patience is needed in this connection. 
before you can come together. This is a divine energy. The temperance angel brings the soulmates together. So, yep. Okay, so let's get more clarity here. Ace of Cups. So there you go. There's your brand new beginning in love. So we have the Ace of Wands for passion, excitement. And now we have the Ace of Cups. All the Aces are divinely guided. Love, emotions, fulfillment, overflowing. Happiness and joy in every single way with your soulmate. And that is their energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The moon. So, and there's their energy again. Pisces. They're just showing up all over here with the hangman. The moon. Um, King of Cups energy. Ace of Cups energy. So, you know, maybe the moon energy, not knowing all the facts. Maybe you don't know the, all the details of this situation just yet. But all this will be revealed uh, once they're free to jump in and leap into this uh, new beginning here. With this brand new beginning in love, I think all the secrets will be revealed. So the Eight of Cups. Yep, they're walking away. Here's the Pisces. Eight of Cups is walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling. So they're in the process of clearing their slate and walking away from things no longer serving them. And you don't know all the details. You don't really know exactly what's going on in their situation. You do know they're leaving it. They're walking away from it. And I think you will know in time exactly what is going on with them. And there's the four of wands. So there's the commitment again, as in with the hierophant here. So there's the home, the commitment, the uh, ceremony, celebrations. This is also considered the twin flame card. Soulmate, twin flame energy, commitment, happy home and family, celebrations, ceremonies could also mean marriage. So I do think here also they're leaving a committed marriage here. They're leaving a committed marriage and they just waiting to start this new, this new, uh, beginning in love with you. They have the love and the emotions. You have the passion and excitement. <laughs> All right. So let's get some bottom of the energy, bottom of the deck energy. So the wheel of fortune, Sagittarius energy again here. So divine timing. So this is the divine fate wheel. Divine timing. All in divine timing. Things will turn for the better. Uh, things will go in a better direction. Everything will be fine. Fate, fortune, abundance here with the wheel of fortune. Six of cups. So water energy again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So memories, nostalgia, thinking back on things. Um, maybe you knew this person from childhood or you worked with them, went to school with them, you could have had past lives with them, past life, soulmate, twin flame, connection possibly here, page of swords, ear energy. So, you know, you could be watching them online, watching their social media. This is also communication. So I do feel like you'll find out the truth of this situation once they're free. This is open, honest, clear cut communication. And they're in the process of taking this, see that big ass sword? cutting away this which is not serving them anymore and having truth and clarity and standing up for themselves and being an empress being an empress here which is Libra and Taurus but you know standing in their power knowing their worth or you vice versa the both of you it's divine feminine energy here so they could be a mother they could be very motherly uh, this is the birth of something new, growth, expansion, knowing value and worth here, embodying all the queens of the deck, being the mother of the deck of all the queens. So there we go, judgment. So, you know, in their energy again now with the queen of cups and communication under that. So... They're making a final judgment call to leave behind what's no longer serving them. They're forgiving the things of the past and wanting to resurrect things with you. Once they're free and able to, you will have this communication come in with the Eight of Wands energy. Very passionate communication. And then you have, wow, now the Ace of Pentacles. So very stable, sturdy, grounded. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
brand new beginning of wealth and abundance and stability long term here long term Communi communication coming in after the judgment call has been made and they are free and clear the communication will come in about what went down what happened with them and knowing their value their power their worth and doing what is necessary for them communication past lives or past connection here fate destiny divine timing here on your side everything going in the right direction for you Capricorn wow wow Capricorn all right so let's get some extra guidance and advice for you Capricorn 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 all right Capricorn message and advice and guidance for Capricorn first half of September let's take these two see what's on the bottom of the deck our lady of creative choice hmm and 10 and that is about endings and then new beginnings as we they are going through an ending and it's their choice um, I don't know where creative comes in but that's like the creation the divine source so they're making the choice here they know you're that you are their divine partner here and they're making this conscious choice to leave what is no longer serving them and do what's best for them for this new beginning and then we have our lady of the star blossom so the star energy and then we have 22 is about unity people coming together star about wishes dreams hopes optimism faith um, wish fulfillment, dream fulfillment, things blossoming, being divinely guided with the star energy. And then we have Our Lady of Sacred Waters, and that's the water, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Wow. 27, which is 9, which is, you know, about um, wish fulfillment. It's about uh, stress, anxiety. The wounded warrior who keeps fighting on and being very sturdy, stable, and grounded and independent. Sacred waters, very healing. Waters are very healing and sacred. So I feel like this will be a very sacred healing connection once you two finally are able to come together. It's being divinely guided by the stars, wishes, dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. For you, Capricorn. Capricorn, wow. Soulmate, twin flame, deep love, emotions, passion, communication, stability. It's all here. Once they free themselves out of whatever they're going through and whatever you, you know, if you came together um, before when you shouldn't have, um, I still think this will be a divine union. Okay, Capricorn, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Uh, maybe something there will resonate for you. And I would say disregard the titles. I do consider them all timeless. And I hope this resonated for you. If you like my style, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And if um, you hit the little bell, I think you have to hit all notifications to receive all notifications. Good luck to you here in your love connection. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.